forming two digit numbers using bundles of 10 place value. Children, today in this video, we will learn to form two digit numbers using bundles of 10. Children, in the last video, we learned to make groups of 10s and write the numbers in 10s and 1s boxes. Today we will carry forward that topic. Look, here are some jars filled with marbles. Let us count. The first jar has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 marbles. This means that this is one group of 10s. Billy, you count the marbles in the second jar. Yes ma'am. In the second jar, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 marbles. Yes, that is correct. So, there are 10 and 10, 20, two groups of 10s. Now look, here in the third jar, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 marbles. So, this makes it 10 and 10, 20, 20 and 10, 30. Three groups of tens. Now, Lily, you count the marbles in the fourth jar. In the fourth jar, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten marbles. Absolutely right. So these are ten and ten, twenty. Twenty and ten, thirty. 30 and 10, 40. Four groups of 10s. This fifth jar also has 10 marbles. This makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30. 30 and 10, 40. 40 and 10, 50. Five groups of 10s. Look, the sixth jar also has 10 marbles. This makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30, 30 and 10, 40, 40 and 10, 50, 50 and 10, 60. So, these are 6 groups of 10s. Now, you tell me Lily, how many groups of 10s do we have? We have 6 groups of 10 marbles each. That's right. This is why. We will write 6 in the tens box here. Now, you tell me Billy, how many marbles are there in the 7th jar? Ma'am, the 7th jar is empty. Yes, there is not even one marble in the 7th jar. So, we have to write 0 in the 1's box. Now, we have 6 in the tens box, which means 60, and 0 in the ones box, which means there is not even one marble there. So there are 60 marbles in total. Understood, children? A group of 10 objects is called one group of tens. Similarly, whatever is the number of groups you have, you have to write that number in the tens box. And when there is not even one object in the group, you have to write zero in the ones box. We, we understood. understood. Now look, in this empty seventh jar, I am putting some marbles in it. Now tell me Lily, how many marbles are there in total? Here in the first six jars, there are groups of ten marbles each. That means there are 6 groups of 10 marbles each. That is why in the tens box, we have to write 6. Well done, Lily. Now in the 7 jar, we have put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7 and 8 marbles. So, in the 1's box, we have to write 8. Well done, Billy. But my question was, how many marbles are there in total? Here, in the 10's box, there is 6, which means 60 marbles. And in the 1's box, there is 8. That means there are 8 marbles. That is why there are 60 and 8, 68 marbles in total. Yes, well done. Now look children, I will teach you how to expand 68 into 2 parts. 68 has 6 tens and 8 ones. So 6 tens means we have to write 60 and 8 ones means we have to write 8 here. Come on Billy, now try to expand and tell the numbers written here on the board. 28 has 2 tens and 8 ones. So 28's expansion is 20 and 8. Very good children. Now see you in the next class. Children, in this video, you learn to expand 2 digit numbers and write it in boxes of tens and ones. In the next video, through examples, we will learn how to expand two digit numbers and understand it well. Children, in this video, we will learn to form two digit numbers using bundles through some interesting examples. Children, in the last class you had learnt to form numbers in the groups of tens. Yes, ma'am. Let us see through some examples how much you remember. Look, there is an abacus given here. You have to look at it and form a number. Lily, you tell us. In the abacus given here, in the tens box there are one, two, three, 4, 5, 6 and 7 beads. So in the tens box, we have to write 7. Very good. Now, in the ones box, in the abacus, there are 1, 2 and 3 beads. So in the ones box, we have to write 3. Well done. Now here, in the tens box, 7 tens means 70. And in the ones box, three ones means three. So adding 70 and three makes it number 73. Absolutely correct. Now how will you expand 73 into two parts? 73 means seven tens and three ones. Meaning its two parts will be 70 and three. Well done. Now let us look at the second example. Look Billy. Here we have to count one small block as one. Now tell me, what number do all these blocks represent? Here in the first big block, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 small blocks means there is one tens. Well done, Billy. Similarly, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 groups of 10 blocks each. So, 6 tens make 60. Now, there are 2 small blocks which means there are 2 ones. Very good. Now, adding 2 to 60, here we have 60 and 2 giving us number 62. Now, how will you expand 62 into 2 parts? 62 means 6 tens and 2 ones. That means the two parts will be 60 and 2. Absolutely right, Billy. Children, you saw Lily Billy form two digit numbers with the help of abacus and blocks. In the next video, we will understand some interesting facts about forming two digit numbers with the help of bundles of tens.
children today we will learn interesting facts about forming two digit numbers using bundles place value children can you make bundles of tens out of these 43 ice cream sticks but ma'am these are 43 ice cream sticks how can we make bundles of tens out of these let me explain there are 43 ice cream sticks first of all make one bundle of tens out of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 here is one bundle of tens come on billy now make the second bundle of tens from the remaining sticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 this is the second bundle of tens now form the remaining bundles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and 10 look we made a third bundle of tens also lily now you say whether you can make another bundle of tens from the remaining sticks or not yes ma'am 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 ma'am this has also become a bundle of 10 good now we have four bundles of tens who will count further i will count 1 2 and 3 here is the fifth bundle of tens hey billy what is this bundles of tens means that group must have 10 objects here there are only 3 sticks so we cannot make a bundle of 10 with them it means that to make a bundle of tens a total of 10 objects are to be kept in one group together yes how many groups of tens are there There are four groups of tens, meaning four tens. Four tens means forty. Now, besides the bundles of tens, how many sticks are left? There are three sticks left. Adding one, two, and three to forty makes forty-three. Children, remember a group of tens mean a group of ten objects. Yes, ma'am. children today we learned interesting facts about forming two digit numbers using bundles of tens in the next video we will learn adding numbers through grouping adding two digit numbers using place value friends today in this video we will learn expanding two digit numbers using place value and writing in boxes of tens and ones in this manner children in the last video You have learned to make bundles of tens so now Lily make a bundle of 10 and show us I will tie these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 chalks like this here Come on it has become a bundle of 10 Well done Lily So Billy can you tell her how to write the figure 10 here Yes like this <laughs> Correct but I will show you another way of writing it Look here is a lollipop let us make a bundle of 10 of these and write the number 1 2 3 4 5 
9 and 10. And let us make a group like this. This is a group of 10 lollipops. How many groups of 10s do we have? We have one group of 10 lollipops. You are right. We have one group of 10 lollipops. That is why we will write one in the box of 10s. Now tell me, Billy, besides the group of 10 here, how many lollipops are left with which a group of 10 cannot be made? Now see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 lollipops left with which a group of 10 cannot be made. Yes, you are right, Billy. We will write the remaining 5 lollipops in the box of 1s. Now tell me, 1 tenths and 5 ones. What is the number that we have? One tens and five ones make the number fifteen. Well done, Billy. Now look, there are some leaves here. Who will make their groups and write it? I, I will write. write. All right, both of you do it one by one. First, I will make a group of ten leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have made a group of ten like this. Now there is one group of tens here. So we will write one in the tens box. Well done, Lily. Now I will count the remaining leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We will write the number eight in the ones box. Now tell me, one tens and eight ones make which number? One tens and eight ones make number eighteen. Well done, Billy. Now look, children, there are some circles here. Let us write them as groups of ten. First, I will make one group of ten circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9 and 10. So we will make group of these circles. Now let me count the remaining circles too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. With these two, let me make a group of 10 like this. Now there is nothing remaining. So how many groups of 10s are here? There are two groups of 10 here. So how will we write this? There are two groups of 10. So we have to write two in the 10s box. That's true, Billy. And what do we write in the 1s box? But there is not even one circle left. So what shall we write? There is not even one circle left. So we will write zero in the ones box. Now tell me, what number will it make? It makes number 20. Well done, Billy. So children, remember one thing. As many groups of tens are made, you have to write that number in the tens box. The remaining number will be written in the box for ones. If no number is left, then write zero in the box for ones. In this manner. Yes, I, I will, will remember, remember for sure, sure ma'am. Ma Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. So children, 
In this video, you have learned to expand two digit numbers by using place value, which means writing in the box of tens and ones. Now, in the next video, we will understand expanding two digit numbers using place value through examples in a better way. Children, in this video, through some interesting examples, we will better understand expanding two digit numbers using place value and writing in the boxes of tens and ones. Billy, here are some anklet beads. So, can you count them and tell me how many beads to put in the tens and ones boxes? Of this abacus? Yes, sure. Look, Lily. First, I will make groups of ten with the anklet beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have made their group like this. Wow! Now, let me count the anklet beads besides this group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Here I made the second group of 10. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Here I made a third group of 10. Now let me count the beads we have left uncounted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It means the total number of beads are 37. Here there are 3 groups of 10s. That's why I will put 3 beads in 10s box and 7 beads in 1s box. Well done, Billy. Can you tell me that what number do the remaining beads on the abacus make? Think about it and tell me. Look, on this abacus, here in the tens box, there are 1, 2 and 3 beads available. So, we will write that first. Now, in the ones box, there are 7 beads. So, we have to write 7. Now, the number it makes is 37. Very good. Come, Come on, on. Now, now let, let us go. go. Children, today in this video, with the help of some interesting examples, we learn to expand two digit numbers and write them in the box of tens and ones. In the next video, we will understand some interesting facts about tens and ones. Children, today we will learn interesting facts related to expanding two digit numbers using place value. Auntie, give me a big packet of curd. Yes, I will give you. Take it. How many rupees do I have to pay? You have to pay 55 rupees for this curd. For 55 rupees, how many notes and coins will I have to give? You will have to give 5 notes of rupees 10 and 5 coins of rupees 1. But I have only 3 notes of 10 and 4 notes of 5 and the remaining coins. Don't worry, Lily. There are 1, 2, and 3 notes of rupees 10. Adding them makes it 30 rupees. Now, adding this 5 and 5 makes 10. And adding 10 to this 30 makes 40. Means I don't have to go looking for 10 rupees notes every time. By simply adding 2 5 rupee notes can also make 10. So now adding these 2 5 rupee notes make it rupees 10. 
So adding 10 to 40 makes it a total of 50 rupees. Yes, it is 50. But 5 are still remaining. Now I don't have a 5 rupee note with me. But you have coins, right? Coins? But these are 1 rupee coins. Yes. Look, Lily. You have 5 coins of 1 rupee each. So here, adding these 1 rupee coins makes it 5 rupees. Here is the first 1 rupee coin, 2nd coin, 3rd coin, 4th coin and 5th coin. So all these 5 1 rupee coins makes a total of 5 rupees. Absolutely right, Lily. So auntie, take these 5 rupees. Thank you, Lily. Children, today after doing some shopping, we have learned how to make the payment to the shopkeeper with the help of notes and coins. In the next video, we will learn to add numbers to a group. Of two digit numbers. Friends, in this video we will see that Pilu has come to stay with Pinky Auntie during his school vacations. Yes, so let's go. Today we will learn to add two digit numbers through Pilu and Pinky Auntie's conversation. Pinky Auntie, I have come. Hey, come in Pilu. Your mother Minky had told me that you would be coming during the vacation. How is Minky? Auntie, Mummy is absolutely fine. Pilu, would you like to have some popcorns? Yes, Auntie, I love popcorns. Come on, so let me make some popcorns for you. Oh ho, but here we have only 10 and 10, 20 corn kernels. Pilu, will you bring another 10 kernels from the storeroom? Yes, auntie, I will get them. Pilu, keep the kernels here. Auntie, now tell me how many grains are there in total? See, Pilu, here we have two bags of 10 10 corn kernels each, that is 2 tens. If we add another bag of 10 kernels to this, then how many grains are there in total? Here, if we add 2 tens, it becomes 20. Adding 1 more tens, we will get a total of 30 grains. Then how will we write this in the table of tens? Here we will write 2 in the box of tens. And in the box of 1's, we will write 0. We have to add 20 grains to another bag of 10 grains. So here, in the box of 10's, we will write 1 and 0 in the box of 1's. Pilu, if we have 0 in the 1's place, then what do we have to do? In 2 digit numbers, if we have a 0 in the 1's place, then in the box of 1's we write a 0. And in the place of 10's will be the sum of the present digits. Well done! Now adding 2 10's and 1 10's will give us a total of 3 10's that will be 30 grains. Yes, adding 20 grains and 10 more will give us a total of 30 grains. Now see, here are 30 grains. To these, I will add 16 more. So, how do we add 30 and 16? To write number 30, we will write 3 in 10's box and 0 in the 1's box. To add 16 to 30, Write 1 in the tens box and 6 in the ones box. Now, first in the ones box, we will add the numbers 0 and 6 that will give us 6. 
Now in the tens box, we will add the numbers three and one, the total of which will be four. So how many total number of grains are here now? Yes, here there are three tens or thirty. And if we add one tens and six, that is sixteen, we get a total of forty-six grains. Well done, Pillu. So come on. Now to these forty-six grains, I add thirteen more. So how are we going to add them both? For the number forty-six, we will write four in the tens box and six in the ones box. To add thirteen to this number, we write one in the tens box and three in the ones box. Now first, we will add the numbers in the ones box. Six and three will make nine. Now in the tens box, the numbers four and one will add up to five. So how many grains do we have here in total? Here, if we add four tens and six grains to one tens and three grains, then we get a total of fifty-nine grains. Yes, well done, Pillu. So come on, now eat this popcorn. I will just be back from the market. Okay, Auntie. Bye. Today we learned addition of two digit numbers. In the next video, we will learn to add some more two digit numbers with the help of examples. Hello friends today we will learn in this video with the help of some interesting examples addition of two digit numbers So come on let's see what all pinky auntie has got for pillu from the market Pinky auntie what did you get for me from the market Come pillu See this. This is your favorite gems chocolate. Oh wow. Auntie, I'm going to stay at your house for 10 days. Every day I will eat two green and two pink gems. <laughs> Pilu, then you will need at least 40 gems for 10 days. Come on. Let us see how many are there. Yes, Auntie. Pilu, just see. Here we have ten and ten twenty, twenty and four twenty-four green gems. Yes. Let me count the pink gems now. Here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, ten and ten, twenty, twenty and ten, thirty, thirty and ten, forty. There are forty pink gems. Yes. So tell me, what is the total number of gems we have here? To find this out, we have to add the numbers twenty-four and forty. First of all, we write twenty-four green gems. We will write two in the tens box, and then we will write four in the ones box. Now to write the forty pink gems, write four in the tens box and zero in the ones box. Pilu, now add both the numbers. First of all we will add the numbers in the ones box So here adding 4 and 
will be 4. And now in the tens box, adding 2 and 4 will make 6. Adding 24 green gems and 40 pink gems will give us total of 64 gems. Wow, auntie! Here we have a total of 64 gems, which is more than 40 gems. So now I can not only have 2, but more than 2 gems every day. Okay, so let us see some more examples. Look here, Pillu. This is a color pencil box and this is a cookie box. I bought this one color pencil box by giving three notes of rupees 10 and one coin of rupees 5, which means it costs 35 rupees. And this cookie box by giving two notes of 20 rupees, one note of 10 rupees, and two coins of two rupees, that is by giving 54 rupees. So tell me. How much did I pay in total for both these items? The price of the pencil box is 35 rupees. So to write 35, we will write 3 in the tens box and 5 in the ones box. And the price of the cookie box is 54 rupees. So we will write 5 in the tens box. And 4 in the 1's box. Now you add both these numbers. Yes. First in the 1's box, the numbers 5 and 4 will add up to form 9. And in the 10's box, 3 and 5 will add up to form 8. So adding 35 rupees and 54 rupees is 89, which is the total value paid for the items. Well done, Pilu. Yes, so today, with the help of these interesting examples, we learned the addition of two-digit numbers. In the next video, we will see more examples of addition of two-digit numbers. Today we will see interesting examples of adding two digit numbers. Auntie, you brought color pencils for me, but I don't have any paper. Do you want to draw pictures? Yes, Auntie. Okay. Pillu, you go to the market. And buy yourself a sketchbook and an ice cream. Oh, wow! Ice cream! Auntie, please give me some money to buy the two items. So tell me how much money will you need to buy the two items? Hmm, 32 rupees for the sketchbook and 25 rupees for the ice cream. Hey, Pillu. But how much money do I have to give in total? For this, we have to add 32 and 25. You are absolutely right. First of all, from 32, write 3 in the 1 box and 2 in the 10's box. You did the opposite, Pillu. In a 2-digit number, the last digit is always written in the 1's box and the first digit in the 10's box. Hmm, okay. From 32, we write 3 in the 10's box and 2 in the 1's box. Then from 25, number 5 comes last. So 5 in the 1's box. And 2 comes first. So, we will write it in the tens box. Oh, wow, Pillu. You got it right. 
Hey, but I still have to do the addition. Now in the ones box, two and five will add up to form seven. In the tens box, three and two will add up to form five. So auntie, you have to give me a total of fifty-seven rupees. That's great, Pillu. You made the right calculation. Take fifty-seven rupees. Yes, give it to me, auntie. I will go right now and get my sketchbook and ice cream from the market. Okay, dear Pillu. Bye. Friends, today we learn some interesting facts about adding. Two digit numbers. I hope you will not make a mistake with two digit numbers and write the correct digit in the tens and ones box. In the next video, while Pillu and Pinky Auntie are visiting the fair, we will see how Pillu learns to add more than two one digit numbers. Goodbye.